Hey Scrappers, today I decided to check how much, let's say, precious metal containing elements we have in 10 boards. I picked this home router, uh, modem, easy to find devices. Really, these boards are from easy to find devices, even for free. People are just changing their uh, home network uh, router or modem and or one card or whatever and you find this just thrown away so let's check I will completely depopulate these boards and saying completely depopulate I'll show you what I mean I'll start with this small one and then I'll speed it up a little because uh, it will probably take 15-20 minutes to get rid of all this uh, I don't want uh, to waste your time but uh, let me show you what I will do. First, I will remove these BGAs. So some of them are easy to remove with chisel. Some of them are not that easy to remove with chisel, but this one came out intact, which is good. What else I will remove? I will remove all these uh, ICs and separate them because this is four-sided but uh, you see you have relatively low number of connections from each side. So I separate them and these are memory ones. They are small but these are memory ones. They are really easy to, to remove with chisel or you can also cut them and remove them that's another approach up to you which is easier to you let's say it in this way uh, with chisel it's really efficient because you just touch them like this and that's all so you see how quickly i removed all these chips and if you have any pins to remove like this I mean I usually just cut them like like that because these are easy to remove this port here looks nice but uh, there are huge number of small pins inside that are well gold plated so usually I just cut such and store because gold plating looks good but in general it's far away from the vintage electronics gold plating but uh, if you'd like you can go for these pins of course i am always uh, i always have doubts should i collect them or not uh, probably during this crop and the population run i will not go for these pins and that's how the board is supposed to look at the end, uh, more or less clean. You can of course trim these pins to collect them if you'd like. I mean the cleaner you, you, you recover the pins, the easier you will recover the gold after that from them. Uh, example is the solder. Uh, processes are completely different if you have solder and if you don't have solder. So for these ones, for example, I can cut them like this uh, really easily and as you can see I have no solder and this makes uh, recovery easy and for such pins that don't have that much gold on them gold plating is not thick at all uh, best approach can be reverse electro plating or gold stripping agent can be used i'm planning to do some videos on reverse electro plating for gold uh, i've used similar pins to show you how to quickly remove the gold from them but now this board is com completely depopulated and I will continue with the other ones and we'll do the same. I'll separate memory chips from BGAs, from other pins and stuff, from four-sided ICs, just to 
find out is it worth it. For example, how many grams of VGAs I'll have at the end. I'll continue now and let's check at the end how much we will get from these parts. That's our final result. What is the most valuable here? The most valuable are the BGA chips. And let's check together how much we have. Because I can easily calculate it in gold. More or less it's clear what is the minimum yield from that. 43 grams. Let's say 0.4 grams of, of gold as a minimum, which is a really good result. And uh, other thing that is uh, easy to recover gold from are these memory chips. They're two-sided. Uh, they're not as good as, as the BGAs, but more or less you can uh, have a good gold yield from them. You see there are so many tiny connectors going outside from them. So it's about 0 0.14, 0 0.15. If you add also these four-sided, they're not bad. If you also add some gold pins, here we go with the gold pins. Uh, so more or less, uh, I, I think we are good with this. We will probably get half a gram of gold from all these. Okay, 10 free routers, half gram of gold. That's not bad. I, I can say that's pretty pretty good result. We also collected some MLCCs. Let me have a look at them. So here are the MLCCs. Uh, let's Let's measure them. So, 4 grams of MLCCs, and I, I believe they're good quality ones. Because this, uh, these MLCCs, uh, at least half of them are not magnetic and have good gold content. Crystals, crystal oscillators, as I said, just keep them. There were some good with, from this with, with gold. They're small, but they're really good. So more or less, 
that's what we got from 10 rotors it's it's pretty and modems it's pretty pretty good result so guys i would highly recommend scrapping this when when they have good vgas inside newt is quite good thanks for watching keep scrapping and don't forget to recover your goat at the end